Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching review number 213. This is not a whiskey, it's a brandy. It's a Hungarian brandy known as Palinka. Uh, Bestilo Palinka. The company is known as Boldoko Fruit. The website is bestilo.hu. B-E-S-T-I-L-L-O. And it's 40% ABV. It's a 40 milliliter bottle. This particular Palinka, by the way, is a, a Palinka, a brandy, made from Tokai wine. Tokai wine, uh, and then that's been uh, distilled to make the Palinka. And not only that, this has also been matured in Tokai, ex-Tokai casks. So that's really cool. And what kind of Tokai, you might ask, and that is uh, A-S-Z-U-Azu. I'm not sure the pronunciation. Pardon me. So it's known as uh, Azju Palinka. Now, what is uh, Azu? Azju, what is that? Well, what that is, is a particular variety of, of grape that has been left on the vine to rot. Uh, which is called noble rot in the wine industry and uh, obviously that increases the sugar content and it also affects uh, the particular flavor and so on so uh, then what they do is uh, they put those uh, dried grapes that particular variety which is known as a berry very inter interestingly and they put them in a big vat and there's a natural weight from the, uh, uh, the, the raisins themselves. And uh, so with the weight of those raisins, you get some um, sweet, sticky liquid that comes out, which uh, they call something like um, uh, essence or whatever. Anyway, so this uh, sweet liquid comes out. And uh, then they may they they may go ahead and make a wine out of that, or start to make a must. Must means uh, the fruit juice, together with the pulp and skins and uh, seeds and everything. That's called must. Uh, then they've got this uh, clump, big clumps of these dried raisins, which have been kind of carefully muddled around. Not, not to break the, the skins, that's important apparently. Uh, and then they're gonna add the must, some must back onto uh, those uh, dried grapes. Then they stick it in a cask, must and all, including the, the skins and whatnot, and they leave it there to age for a minimum of uh, three years. Uh, so very interesting. This Azu Tokai, is kind of known as the sweetest in the industry and uh, so therefore it should all oh, this ripped off it should also make a very nice brandy so let me get that open first of all oh i have to make, make a big thank you to john in winnipeg uh, best friends of my father and my mother john and chris the gulliuses so they went to hung uh, hungary not that long ago pardon my teeth Okay, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a hard bit of work that was. Uh, I gotta cut that down, don't I? Okay. So we're gonna open this uh, Palinka. Very excited. And I'm guessing that this is gonna be kind of like a. kind of like a, a French brandy or a cognac, maybe? I have no idea. Beautiful bottle. The color, obviously that's natural. That's from the Tokai cask. So let's get that poured now. We're gonna go with half or so. A little bit more than that. There we go. Well, that's a fair amount. Wonderful. So color wise, we're looking at a very pale uh, very pale yellow, like the color of uh, wheat, something like a, can I call that, like a lemon, lemon gold, or maybe like actual like lemon juice, 
that's about right the color of lemon uh, lemon juice and a very interesting scent here Wowzers very different now we're gonna have a short word from the YouTube sponsors right here welcome back now let's get onto the nose for the Bestilo Palinka Tokai uh, Erelt Azu Torkoli Palinka Tokai matured Azu Mark Palinka all right Now, palinka as a, um, a distinction is mainly made in Hungary, although some parts of Austria are also permitted to make uh, tokai of a certain fruit. Uh, tokai, um, which is like a wine, can be made from any fruit. And particular fruits seem to be uh, best made in a particular region, best grown. Anyway. Should we look at the legs? Let's look at the legs of this one before we get out of the nose. And fairly speedy, not that fast, not that slow. And we've also got a secondary drizzle beginning here, ever so slowly. And not very much uh, sticking to the glass. All right, onto the nose now. It smells a little bit like furniture wax, leather, and cognac. It smells like a very, very old cognac. And the interesting thing is that that noble rot, uh, you get a particular scent and I'm getting a bit of this here and it's making me dizzy as I smell it. So smelling, just smelling this is giving me a particular experience of, of uh, scent, uh, uh, experience of the sense of smell that is very, very unusual uh, in everyday life, but uh, it's I'm getting this here, and it's it's really interesting. And unlike uh, older cognacs, especially uh, the Tesseron Lot Twenty Nine that I've often talked about, um, this obviously has not been aged that long. Probably less than ten years for sure and uh, let's call it probably around five or six years old thereabouts maybe a little bit younger maybe more like two years the tokai has a particular requirement of age i'm not sure if the palinka does Again, very lemony, a little bit of vanilla there, leather, yes, lots of leather, that rancio, which I think is what's making me feel a bit dizzy. All right, we'll get onto the palate now, the palate, <laughs> let's get onto the palate, okay, Mark. Hmm. A big departure from cognac. Still a hint of that kind of grape, grape wine produced alcohol. Yeah, still a bit there, but uh, much less than I would have expected. Hmm. Linseed oil, flax, uh, flax oil. That 
um, raisin sweetness. But again, these are old raisins. A very youthful almond on the palate. Yep, yeah, I think this is around about three years, two to three years old. And as I'm tasting this, again, this is also making me feel very disoriented uh, right off the bat. So that's really unusual. And again, this is a, a flavor experience that's turning me on my, my ass here, for lack of a better word. Can I say that on YouTube? Some spicy peppers. Nicely cooked ones. Maybe those are kind of like Hungarian peppers, maybe. Oh, that's interesting. Now, it's not as sweet as I would have expected. I would love to try the Tokai the Azu Tokai and see how sweet that is. That's supposed to be really, really sweet. This is basically a medium sweet, dry, herbal experience uh, that is uh, quite lovely. Hmm. Hmm. And 40%, but boy, it tastes like it's 50, to be honest with you. So it uh, doesn't need to be any stronger than that. Lovely stuff. And it seems as though this shape of bottle is also very standard for the Palinka um, brandies. Nice long neck. Very beautiful. So again, thank you very much to John and Chris Julius. Julius? Uh, John and Chris Gouli. <laughs> not Julius, not the Caesar. John and Chris Gullius, thank you so much for that, uh, for this one. So, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle score for Bestilo Palinka. We'll have a short word from the YouTube sponsors right here. Welcome back. The score for Bestilo Palinka is going to be 92 out of 100. Yes, that's the Whiskey Whistle Brandy score for Bestilo Palinka. And I hope you like this review. Uh, boy, if you see this, why not get one? you will learn so much about flavors. What a flavor bomb this is. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel right here. Leave a comment. Have you tried Palinka? If so, what kind? What did you think of it? I'd love to hear from you. All right, everyone, take care. Stay tuned for the next one. That will be another great review. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now, and we'll see you next time.